I got a question for you guys, who do you think is the least played character in the game? Now it's debatable which character is the worst, because everyone has their own opinion on who they like, but doing some of my own research and talking to people who also play Genshin, it's very clear that Jin Yan is by far the least popular and the least played in Spiral Abyss. Now it's pretty hard to find a lot of lore on her because she's not a character many people talk about, but doing a bit of googling, I found she was a playable character in version 1.2, but didn't appear in any events or quests until 9 months later in version 2.1. So basically, she ended up being a character that no one really cared about or was ever really anticipated. Apart from that, a lot of players will probably agree with me when I say her kit isn't really that good and is sort of a confusing character. Her elemental skill gives your party a shield based on a max defense, and her ult launches nearby enemies in the air dealing physical damage and then deals pyro damage. So at first it looks like she would be a shield support, but her ult is a main DPS ult, so she's basically just the main DPS with a shield, so it can be a little weird for people to build her. But I guess the only way to test it out is leveling her up myself and trying her out. Now, I really don't remember when I got her to level 70, but I'm pretty sure I did a very long time ago before I quit the game for a couple months because I wouldn't really think about leveling her up now. But good thing I did because now I can test her. Alright, now I'm going to be testing her as a DPS because that's probably what most people are going to be playing her as. Saying that she's mostly physical, I'm going to be putting my Yula artifacts on her just to see how much damage she actually does. But I don't think I'm going to be comparing her to Yula because, well, Yula is the best physical damage dealer in the game, so I think a better gauge would be Razor, who's basically just a 4 star Yula. So in this damage test, Jinyan is level 70, but my Razor is level 60. They have on the same artifacts and weapon, so that's 2 piece Gladiators and 2 piece Bloodstained, with a level 90 Serpent Spine, just to give them some more crit rate. I've also lowered my world level because I don't really have them leveled up, so don't go off my numbers because they're not even close to their peak potential. So actually, to my surprise, Jinyan holds her own against Razor. Granted, my Razor's talents aren't as leveled up, so if you want to see an actually more detailed comparison, I'll put a video in the description. But despite being the most neglected character in the game, Jinyan isn't that bad of a DPS. The thing is, though, her build is sort of confusing. Although her shield's health scales off her defense, her damage scales off her attack. So if you're running her as a shield support, then max out her defense, but honestly, I would say if you're going to be playing her at all, then running her as a main or sub DPS with attack artifacts would be better. Apart from how much damage she deals, there was no reason to give her this southern of an accent. Huh, oh, Beta was saying you and I should get ourselves on board sometime, says the whole crew's been asking for us. <laughs> I mean, there could be a possibility that Mihoyo might be just slightly very racist, but other than that, Jinyon isn't a character that I wouldn't recommend to someone, especially if they already have good physical damage artifacts. She does have a really good free-to-play weapon, but her artifact sets are all sort of endgame. She also uses the most annoying flower to level up. Violet Grass. Another thing is, I actually really like her character design. Her entire personality is basically just a guitar and I kind of dig it. She's all about rock and how cool rock is and how she's always rocking, but that doesn't matter too much because she's never been in the story. Like I said earlier, she never appeared in any story quests or events. So when she did get her first introduction in the Moonlight Merriman event, nine months after her release, a lot of my friends are basically like, who the fuck is this? So in conclusion, she's a really cool character with a sick design and honestly not that bad of a DPS. So if you ever decide to play her, let me know in the comments. But other than that, thanks for watching. I upload every Saturday, so make sure to sub. It's free and it really helps me out. Next video will be about a really hot character. Get it? Because he's pyre. <clears throat> okay, bye.